Now, Magnus, Jan and you are the same age. You've grown up together. You've played your championships. Uh, you've worked together. You've trained together. You were speaking about your experience playing training games uh, with Vishy. Tell us a little bit about training with Jan because stylistically, completely different players. Uh, yeah, you're you're absolutely you're absolutely right. Um, that's it's it's been very interesting to to play against him. Um, since uh, we have uh, we have fairly we have a different uh, different strengths. Um, Jan is uh, somebody who plays very very quickly. It's extremely strong at tactics. Can be very very strong even in simple positions where you can just spot some little little tactics. Uh, but he has. He has a problem that he can play a little bit um, too superficially and and lose lose focus. Um, but yeah, uh, certainly for me, it's been very interesting to to play him for for many years since he's somebody who can definitely um, definitely outplay me. Uh, he cannot always um, he cannot always convert. That's not necessarily his strongest suit, but. Um, Certainly, um, yeah, it's 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 always been an interesting uh, clash of um, clash of styles there um, when when we've uh, played, um, and I would say that um, when when he's inspired, he 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 can play extremely well. So we would have these uh, training sessions where. One day uh, he would feel great, and um, he would have a slight edge, or we'd be equal. And then on, on another day, um, um, he wouldn't be in top shape, and I would win. I would win seven, eight games in in a row. So he's he's very much a player who's very, very influenced, or at least very used to be very, very influenced by his his mood on that. Uh, particular day, um, and that's kind of what's been setting him back more than pure chess talent. Um, uh, and uh, he, he, I remember uh, I've known him for many years, and uh, um, he couldn't sort of quite understand why he wasn't playing in the um, the best tournaments. Let's say six, seven years ago, why he wasn't consistently playing them. And I said that it's it's because you cannot you cannot maintain focus. I mean, you should be one of the best players in the world, but it's it's all it's all up to you. Like that's that's what it what it is. It's um, his highest level was certainly already then more than good enough to play play these tournaments. And I'm I'm very happy for him that he's that he's sort of figured things figured things out and um, the reason why he's leading this tournament is because he is one of the one of the most talented players of this generation without without a doubt. That's actually very very insightful because uh, when you've got this kind of talent and this kind of you know just his style of play just aggressive combative very very tricky uh, and plays very fast but when so much of it depends on your frame of mind or your mood, as you're saying, Magnus, it could come in the way of being inconsistent or that stability. And very often we've seen it in the tour as well. Several times if you need just just to draw to qualify or to or to be solid in moments where you need to be solid, you very often just take the most risky decisions because it's just not part of your style. Uh, do you think inconsistency and stability becomes a problem when so much depends when your strength sort of depends on on how you're feeling on that particular day. Oh yeah, ab absolutely. Um, I think um, it's been proven in chess uh, again and again that being being consistent and raising your floor is just as important as as raising as raising your your ceiling, and that's. Yeah, that's that's the only only real reason why 
why Giannis is not in this position in in almost every it is in almost every tournament is that um, is is that you know his 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 floor is still very 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 low. Mm. That's a, well, that's a really good way of putting it, actually the floor and the ceiling. Oh, no, no. no, I was just going to say that's a good way of looking at it, the floor and the ceiling um, as to approaching that consistency. Sometimes it seems to click in a player's life and maybe right now Jan's in a good place and maybe that's why he's been a bit more consistent over recent years. Or do you think he's actually worked on uh, that consistency? No, I, I think uh, it's it's a bit of um, it's a bit of both. A bit of both. Yeah. Yeah. 